what's up? So today I'm gonna talk about Quincy Jones, <clears throat> and he he stay tripping. So I saw something about he signed some autograph, or picture him and Michael Jackson, and they did incredible things together. And he tried to sign over Michael Jackson, and cracks me up because look, Quincy Jones is a well-respected arranger, producer, composer, all that. Blah blah blah. But let's be realistic. If you came around at a certain time, I'm sorry, but his association with Michael Jackson made him, you know, that's what he's tagged with. Yeah, he likes to talk about how he arranged for Sinatra and work with Count Basie, etc. But most people out on the streets, a time out of ten, they're not gonna talk about um soundtracks and Things like that, they're going to come at it. Even Sanford and Son, which is my all-time favorite TV show. People know me. I rock with Fred G. Sanford, you big dummy. And the Sanford and Son theme is one of the funkiest songs you're going to hear. But let's just cut to the chase. Working with Michael Jackson just overrides all that. Because, you know, let's be realistic. Those were some groundbreaking records. I mean, off the wall thriller. Then Bad had his thing. It was like, you know, it was like a Godfather tr sagas, you know. So... He tries to act downplay it, but let's be realistic. And that was history there, you know. And to see him signing right through Michael and all the stuff they did is like insane. But they made history together, you know what I'm saying? So I don't understand why Quincy's trying to act like, you know, yeah, you got a name, but let's be realistic. <clears throat> you work with the king of pop. You, know, you, you didn't exactly set the world on fire post, Michael. You know, you tried. You tried. You had some, some great talents and stuff, and the Grammys gave you all them awards for back on the block, whatever. You know, you had some jams here and there, but, you know, there's a reason. You and Michael Jackson, I was top of the heap right there. So, I don't understand. You know, he come out early this year talking trash about people and digging all this stuff up. And you just need to let the greats lie where they lie and leave, let that day go. But, you know... Yeah, he don't like to hear it, but Michael needed him for a particular time in his life, but he needed Michael. And they hit the mother low. So to sit here and downplay like that wasn't significant or act like, you know, try to scrub that man over. And people have been really trying to get it, Michael, between that foolery with the Eagles and all that and Quincy Jones, I tell you. You know, it's like, man, what they going to do next year with the March 10th year anniversary of his death and his almost 60th birthday? Which I plan on doing a shout out on soon, but and they needed Michael. So Quincy Jones, man, you better acknowledge the king of pop, yo, cause there you still cashing checks off for of them albums, and you know this. So you should always put some respect by Michael Jackson's name. And I don't understand why Quincy Jones be acting like that, cause he's got his name and acclaim, but no one's gonna trip off of you without your association with me, Michael Jackson. All right, later.